morning everybody, how y'all doing? How's things? How's it hanging? As I said yesterday, we were celebrating Brian O'Shea's birthday, so uh, we ended up staying in the boardhouse a little bit, not too late, nothing uh, out of ordinary. We went for a really nice meal in a place called Green Hen. If you're ever in Dublin, go and check them out. Their food is excellent, and the service is really nice as well. But I didn't let a, like, like a me mediocre uh, late night to stop me getting up early this morning, and I've been practicing for the past two hours. Uh, working on a new song and practicing the uh, it's kind of finger picking you know some of you know that it's I consider finger picking as kind of the weakest part of my playing so I try to do as much of it as possible so it gets stronger and there's, there's a new song I'm working on that has a lot of finger picking so I wanted to get it bang on um, I'm really enjoying it but yeah here in Dublin right now today it is Tuesday it is Valentine's Day so let's do a quick little thing about what do we think about Valentine's Day you know let's face it it's a pretty commercial thing and one of the reasons why I love my girlfriend so dearly is that she doesn't really fall for that kind of stuff we both said that we're kind of fed up with it um, and it's been a year with that kind of for us anyway getting rid of the commercial feeling the need to follow the commercial trends of you know going after something like that which I really really appreciate so yeah you know here in dublin you know all the restaurants have special menus they're overbooked overpriced you don't exactly get a nice atmosphere in a, you know when everybody when it's like when everybody's doing it it just doesn't feel feels weird besides it's tuesday she's got to work tomorrow morning um i'm working tonight and i'm gonna have to work tomorrow as well so why not just have one of those days when you both have a bit more time and you know you can actually enjoy the time so what we're thinking of doing is a pizza night, which is, uh, I think we're going to both enjoy it more that way. So today is, I think I'm going to do some recording today. I didn't put out a song next for last Friday. That's due to the fact that it just the vlogging got on the way of it this week. Um, I got a lot of good vlogs came out, but uh, it, it took a lot more time out of me than I thought um, to get some of them out. Now, hopefully I get a song out soon enough. I have a good song and I want to get it out. So we're going to be working on that today. What else? Yeah, then I'm going to put us later on. So that's the kind of thing. Uh, we also went and had a look at another look at the guitars yesterday. I'm still absolutely completely and utterly torn between the Gibson and the Martin. The Gibson J15 and the Martin Triple O RG1, uh, which is the mahogany, or Sibeli. Yeah, both are very kind of environmentally conscious guitars. Uh, they both are made from renewable sources. Um, both sound excellent, both play excellent, but there's a very different tone in them, so it's kind of like I, I, I want them both, but I just don't have money for both of them at the moment, so I have to make a decision soon. At the moment, the Gibson is well overpriced in Dublin, uh, so I might wait and see if one of them comes up some stage second hand. The Martin is kind of reasonably ish priced, and I'm sure I can go shit a little bit on the price if I buy it. Again, I would love to find a second-hand one, but the margin actually this year's model is very nice. Uh, it's nicer than the past few years' model. Um, the neck, which is, some of you know, my I like my chunky guitar necks, and this actually feels surprisingly large. I might end up buying that new. <sighs> so we'll see. Anyway, that's my guitar jabber for today. It's in my head all the time right now. But I'm being patient. I'm not rushing into buying them as kind of a I'm trying to be as practical and with the least amount of being emotional about it when I buy the guitar this time because the two of them I kind of rushed into them because of the uh, new guitar thing now I'm just kind of keep it calm try them out go back to the shop try them out walk away come back next day try it out again and see see how it feels anyway that's where we're at at the moment. So now, yeah, I'm going to do some recording. I got two vlogs edited yesterday. I still need to get a few more done, but uh, I can skip that today and concentrate on recording. Uh, hopefully all that practice on my finger picking um, is going to pay off now when I get into the recording. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm 
just listening back to that guitar take. Um, back recording. Woohoo! Um, finger picking. Finger picking is. I think from all the skills I own on a guitar, finger picking is probably one of, my, one of my weaker sides. So when I do do it, I can do it. But when I do do it, I'm a lot more critical about it than anything else that I do. So um, yeah, this is this is me uh, taking my time to do this stuff. But we're getting somewhere. Okay, guys, I think I just finished the song. Um, really nice. When I get to it. You know, I moan about my finger picking not being the best, but when I get to it and it works, then it just feels fantastic. Um, great, that's that done. Onwards and upwards. Um, I might go look at some more guitars. If the rain subsides. Got a few hours to kill now, and I'm gonna make the most of it. So let's do this. Okay, more and more about the guitar. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on about it, but it's in my mind a lot, so. I do quite a lot of research before I even touch a guitar. The reason is that very often when you go to a music shop and you get the fancy new nice smelling guitar in your hand, uh, you you know your heart and brain swap places and and you just you know that's how retail therapy works I suppose, and you end up buying something. But when you buy something like a guitar, it, it is a commitment and it's something that really has to be a right fit. So I do a lot of research on different aspects of it. Like I know by now that I like certain kind of you know necks on a guitar and like certain kind of scale lengths of certain kind of nut widths and that kind of stuff before I even try it. And then I do a lot of you know listening with good headphones, listening to a lot of YouTube videos of other people playing them and the tones that they get out of it. Now obviously it doesn't. It, it's not the same thing as you actually trying it yourself, but it gives you an idea and kind of prepares you for. You can kind of narrow down the list of what you're looking for. The Martin RS, Triple O RS1 that I'm looking at at the moment, due to the fact that it is a good, reliable, uh, renewable source, woods and that sort of stuff. Um, on YouTube, there's uh, actually surprisingly little, there is stuff, but surprisingly little good quality stuff about that guitar. Which is, uh, like if I was to buy that guitar, which I probably will, at this stage it's kind of leaning more towards that than anything else. I'd fill that space. I'd absolutely fill that space with loads of examples of the guitar. You know, YouTube is an opportunity for anybody who's got anything anything to show to the world. Uh, and you can dominate the space very easily if you know what you're doing. So yeah, that's it's kind of another opportunity for me to look at it that way as well. But um I'm getting excited about this now. That's not a good thing because I need to be rational about it. Talk to you guys later. You lost your way. I wish that I could help you through another day. Your endless devotion washed up by the waves. You're stubborn to the bone and you're brave. on but I think we could be coming to a conclusion he's in trouble now I might have found a baby thanks for making the trip let's go and have a look there we go again Seems lighter shade, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tasty, very tasty. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's louder than the other one. the E chord just for a second the 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 that's my little bit of crunch as well isn't it that's a bit of a problem isn't it yeah yeah you tried to you tried to record the other one so no idea I had to bring in reinforcements for a second opinion. <laughs> Well, I mean, it had to be walking up and down Cable Street for half an hour. So, <laughs> like, will I? Won't I? Will I? Won't I? <laughs> Completely different, I think. Yeah. 